to go. Just after this motorbike's gone by. Right, <laughs> great. Uh, this is about a vertical box. The idea of a vertical box is it's a planter box for small spaces and it is quite literally a box that is vertical. Um, there's several different forms it can take but basically it's going to look something like this in the end here. Yeah. You might have multiple plants here. But this, this is your vertical box and then you have that on a wall or standing against a wall or leaning against a railing or something like that. Now what I'm going to do is a couple variations and how this is actually kind of constructed. So the idea is um, some variations, it doesn't have to be completely vertical, you might put it on the side, or sorry, on, on an angle, you might lean on something, you might, depending on what you make it up, you might actually hang, stick it, lean it on a towel rack or something, um, and use something curved so that you can set it at different heights depending on where the sun is, you might, um, you might take this one and you might actually put a wheel in it and a couple of handles so that you can actually tilt it and run it like a wheelbarrow when it's, it sits flat standing up or you can tilt it and then suddenly it's, um, it, you can end up pushing it. It's just, um, show you what I mean. This is, so suddenly you have your, your plants there and your wheel going and you can actually push this around. So it really depends on what you want to do and what you're actually trying to make it out of. But anyway. So now how you actually make this, um, the construction inside does depend a little bit on what you're using. You're probably using scavenged materials. You can build one from new, but you might be using a baby bar. Though that's, um, there are many better things you can do with a baby bar when it comes to gardening, but you can use one of those. You might find some weird, some kind of weird fruit packing thing. I don't know if you've ever seen these boxes that look kind of like that. And they have all these sort of bits inside. They look like they've been hold, holding melons or something like that, but you can get them in various strengths. Um, you, you could have all kinds of things. You could even have, a, you could even be building this out of a couple of old chest of drawers that you've just kind of stuck together. Uh, they, it could be anything that you found. It doesn't really matter. Um, the idea is that you need some way of the soil coming out. You got, you're going to put the soil in, you're going to plant the plants in from the front and they're going to use that space. If you've got it on an angle, then obviously they're going to have a, bit of a different kind of space than if they're straight and it's going to change what you plant. There's quite a few things you can plant in. I'll come back to that. Okay, so what you have in here is the first thing you do when you have your box, you put in, you put in your dirt. And you may or may not have these shelves across. It sort of depends. If it's vertical, if it's standing straight upright, you probably want some kind of shelves just to sort of help give it, give it the internal stability. Otherwise, it's going to it, you're going to have a lot more problems with it. So you put in some shelves, but you don't have to have them. You don't have to have vertical dividers. You can just have some shelves across. You don't have to have them. I guess it depends what you've made it from and what exactly you're doing. Then what you may do if you've got shelves is put a little bit of gravel or something that'll drain just across the top of each shelf, just, as, just to give it a little bit of space, and then you fill in the rest of your dirt across there. You fill in your dirt. Now what you're doing is, once you've got that in, you get shade cloth or something similar like that, something that is water permeable, uh, but fairly strong. You basically nail that across the top, and, then, and that's, going, that's what's actually going to do the job of keeping the dirt in the box when it's vertical. And then once you've got that shade cloth on, you can then put um, fencing wire across the top, which gives you a grid, and that also gives the cloth some support so it's not bagging out as well. So you, you have that. You need that combination of wire and cloth to kind of keep it. But once you've got that, once you've got that, that actually also gives you a, a framed planting, so then you can sort of help space your plants out and say, okay, one every ten centimeters or one every twenty centimeters, depending on what you're doing. Um, so that's the rough kind of construction. Like I say, if you're doing it on an angle, you might not do the, you might not do the shelves across, or you might put the um, gravel sort of down at the base, yeah, down along the bottom because it'll mostly stay there. Or you might just put a bit of extra gravel down here or something. Drainage holes. If it's vertical, you probably don't need much of a drain. If it's on angle, you might actually want to add a drainage hole somewhere. It's up to you. Um, okay, and then. Okay, what can you put in this? 
Um, strawberries is a really traditional one. Um, anything that would normally go in a hanging basket should be able to grow in this. Um, just be aware of root depth. Be, obviously, if you put something like a tomato in, it's going to need close to half the box of root space if you want to get much in the way of fruit off it. So smaller plants tend to work better. Anything that's used to growing in rock gardens or used to growing in small contained spaces, you can do cacti in here, you can do a whole bunch of things. Cacti makes sort of interesting an interesting situation because then a box like this you're often walking past so you probably don't want something that's too hard to brush past or anything like that. Uh, a lot of garden herbs and cooking herbs will do that well. You know, things like oregano, marjoram, thyme, those sorts of things that tend to, that tend to anything that tends to sprawl or make a ground cover will do fine in one of these. Uh, when you see these in shopping centres, they've usually got things like staghorn, ferns and bromeliads and air plants, spider plants, stuff like that. And you can actually do that sort of thing as well of what you're doing. It depends whether you want to do edibles or whether you're doing it just for green space or what you actually want to do. But there's, there's quite a range of things you can do. Um, yeah, I think that's it.